when I'm talking on the disorders of the thyroid gland, but uh, the disorder which is uh, now on the screen slide, that is the hypothyroidism. That is the under functioning of the thyroid gland. Hypothyroidism under active thyroid is a condition in which your thyroid gland does not produce enough of certain crucial hormones. And one of the examples is that Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Hashimoto's thyroiditis, autoimmune disorder, destruction of the gland, also called autoimmune thyroiditis, predicted changes are decreased metabolic rate, cold intolerance and decreased sweating, weight gain with increased appetite, bradycardia, slowness of speech, thought and movement, lethargy and sleepiness. Yes, you're looking here. The, what happens in the Hashimoto is an autoimmune disorder that is the most common cause of the hypothyroidism. If it affects women 10 to 15 times more than men, constipation, excessive or prolonged menstrual bleeding, enlargement of the tongue, memory lapses, depression, joint pains and stiffness, goiter and puffy face, brittle nails, muscle aches, weakness, tenderness and stiffness, pale dry skin, enlarged and inflamed underactive thyroid gland. Hashimoto's disease is an autoimmune disease in which the thyroid gland is gradually destroyed. And now when the gland is destroyed, certainly the hormones are not produced. The condition is known as a Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism in fetus and neonates. Fetus is a two potential source of the thyroid hormone. Fetus begins to make T3 and T4 at approximately 12th week of gestation. Sustained transfer of the hormone across the placenta. Placenta has deiodinases that converts T4 to T3. Three forms of the hypothyroidism in pregnancy. Isolated fetal hypothyroidism, isolated maternal hypothyroidism, iodide deficiency combined maternal and fetal hypothyroidism. You're looking here. Yes. Creatinism. This is the hypothyroidism in the children. It is known as a creatinism. Iodide deficiency. It is also known as a congenital iodine deficiency syndrome. It's a medical condition present at birth marked by impaired physical and mental development due to insufficient thyroid hormone hypothyroidism often caused by insufficient dietary iodine during pregnancy. See, you are looking here. Signs and symptoms are as follows. Patient is dwarf with severe mental defect, coarse, dry and scaly skin, deficient hair and teeth, retarded skeletal growth, stunted skeletal growth, reduced BMI, cognitive impairment, protuberant abdomen, infertility, impediment in evolution. These are the effects in the... Yes, you are looking here. The cretinoids, a child having the cretinism, maternal hypothyroidism, female hypothyroidism frequently associated with infertility. In pregnancy, if pregnancy does occur, there is an increased risk of the fetal death and gestational hypertension. Subclinical maternal hypothyroidism diagnosed retrospectively are two antibodies to the thyroid that can cross placenta. Children with low intelligence quotient scores they are produced. Fetal hypothyroidism also known as a sporadic congenital hypothyroidism. Fetal gland does not produce enough hormone. Normal at birth, maternal compensation, need rapid diagnosis shortly after birth or risk. Child having permanent mental and growth retardation. Well, mixed edema. Mixed edema refers to the deposition of the mucopolysaccharides in the dermis, which results in swelling of the affected area. Mixed edema is more common in women than in women and men. Mixed edema can occur in hyperthyroidism associated with peritibial mixed edema and exophthalmos. Peritibial mixed edema can occur in one to four of the patients with grave disease a cause of the hyperthyroidism. Hypothyroidism including Hashimoto's disease. You're looking here.
mesedema, though it is known as a, a hypothyroidism of the adults, but associated with the pretibial myxedema, pretibial myxedema and exophthalmos, pretibial myxedema can occur in one to four of the patients with grade even. You're looking here. These are the myxedema. The mucopolysaccharides in the dermis. Hypothyroidism versus the hyperthyroidism. You're looking here. Hypothyroidism, hair loss, inability to think clearly, goiter, reduced heart rate, strong fatigue, sensitivity to cold, dry skin, weight gains, puffiness, memory problem, constipation, irregular menstrual period. Well, the depression, mood swings, joint, muscle pains, the, the high cholesterol, depression, mood swings, anxiety, hair loss, bulging eyes, goiter in large thyroids, heart palpitations, tremors, heat intolerance. This is the major uh, slides telling you how the hypothyroid can be differentiated by the hyperthyroid on the basis of the clinical presentation. Though the goiter is in both cases, but it will be on the um, radio amino assay of the T3 and T4 level okay, that will tell you hypothyroid along the clinical symptoms which are present. Clinical symptoms plus the laboratory findings. Goiter, a goiter is a swelling in the neck resulting from an enlarged thyroid gland. A goiter can be associated with a thyroid that is not functioning properly. Worldwide, over 90% of the goiter cases are caused by iodine deficiency. The term is from the Latin gutturia, meaning throat. Most goiters are of a benign nature. Gutturia, that is the throat. Yes, look, looking here, this is the goiter. The swelling in the entry aspect of the neck. Goiter can be present both in a hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism with varying symptom. Goiter in the hyperthyroidism, as it was started in previous slides, that in hyperthyroidism, for example, grave disease, the TSI bind to the TSH receptors in the thyroid gland and thus cause an increase in both secretory activity and cell number, thus increasing the size leading to goiter. And goiter in the hypothyroidism, in hypothyroidism, there are less T3 and T4 in the circulating blood. The hypothalamus senses it and starts releasing TRH. It acts on the entry pituitary to secrete TSH. It acts on the thyroid to increase the secretion of the thyroid hormone causing goiter. TSH is released in response to less thyroid hormones in the blood. Causes of the goiter are as follows. Iodine deficiency, selenium deficiency, nodules in the thyroid gland, autoimmune inflammation, tumors benign and malignant. Signs and symptoms are as follows. Goiter in the hyperthyroidism, tachycardia, palpitation, nervousness, tremor, increased blood pressure, heat intolerance. Goiter in the hypothyroidism, weight gain despite poor appetite, lethargy, cold intolerance and constipation. You're looking here. Iodine deficiency causing the goiter, you're looking here. Hypothalamus give rise to the TRH. And tripustry give rise to TSH. Then T3 and 4. If iodine is inadequate, it means T3 and T4 low. Low, low negative feedback. And tripustry excess TSH. And there's a hypertrophy of the thyroid gland that causes the, the enlarged thyroid gland means the goiter. It is by the negative feedback mechanism if the iodine deficiency is there. Lack of iodide ref interferes with the negative feedback control. Well, calcitonin. In previous slides, we have seen the detail of the T4 and T3. Now we are going to discuss another hormone, calcitonin. Calcitonin is a hormone that is produced in humans by the parafollicular cell, commonly known as the C cells of the thyroid gland. Calcitonin is involved in helping to regulate levels of calcium and phosphate in the blood opposing the action of the parathyroid hormone. This should be very much clear.